I'm going to show you how to take the lens assembly from an A2300 Canon camera apart. Uh, this camera came in with a um, clicking noise in it when you go to close it and I suspect that uh, the indexing sleeve is is broken or it had a lot of sand in it too so maybe uh, they've got some sand down in the grooves and uh, that's preventing it from closing properly but anyway we're going to have to take it apart and uh, clean it and check it out and replace any parts that need to be done. First of all we want to start removing the top cover and it's held in place by a little clip tab right on the right hand side here and so we're going to just gently pop that up with a small screwdriver just enough to release it bring it up and then slide it forward off of its pin in the front here and lay that off on our screw guide sheet next thing we want to do is remove the two clips from the right hand side and be very careful of these clips they're very fragile so you just want to pop them up enough to release them off of their pin and so don't use your thumbnail because you'll probably break them now the next uh, clip is the one on the top here and that's uh, visible after we remove the top cover so we're just going to pop that one off here and like I say just just pry them up enough to release them so uh, you get them off their tab here and sometimes they're a little bit difficult to get them released far enough and then there's one on the bottom here it looks like we have them all released okay now what we want to do is gently rotate the back plate off up over to the side here and um, we don't have to remove this cable here if we're very careful but we have to kind of rotate it up and keep the keep it kind of in this direction because that'll hold the pinion and the worm gear down in that um, direction so then we can just kind of rotate this off and lay it down to the side and we can um, work on our group from uh, here now you can see this uh, lens is pretty dirty here and um, it also has popped up here so it's out of its indexing grooves already so what we're going to do is take the um, worm gear out and <clears throat> I want to show you on this worm gear there's a, a, f a flat end on here a larger flat end and a smaller rounded uh, axle pin end on here so what we want to do is make sure that when we put this back together again is get the pin in the right uh, order because if you put this in upside down you won't be able to close the lens housing so um, we're going to set the pinion off on our screw guide sheet and same with the worm gear now you can see this got quite a bit of dirt and dust in it so maybe there's just some sand in here that needs to be fixed okay now we want to pop off this cable the aperture cable off of its pin retaining pin here and when you go to put this back together make sure you get it back in the right place and uh, back on that pin before you put the back cover on because this this um, tab here goes over that pin and so if you don't have the uh, ribbon cable on there when you go to assemble it back together you won't be able to get it back on after you put the back plate on so okay this is already normally I have to rotate this in the counterclockwise I mean in the clockwise direction a little bit the ring gear in the clockwise direction a little bit but this is already popped up here so we're just going to remove the sleeve and the aperture assembly and rotate that off to the side here and just pop our sleeve out. We're going to clean all these parts so lay, be gentle with these cables just lay them off to the side far enough so that uh, you can get them out of your way. Now we want to move this, remove this whole group here this um, 
yeah. yeah. Whole ring extender group here. And <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is successfully pop out each um, thing in order. And the next thing that we're going to pop out is the is the um, indexing sleeve. And that's goes into our primary extender ring, which uh, has the ring gear on it. And when you're taking this apart, notice the orientation of everything. I kind of keep um, everything um, in one direction when I take it apart. It goes to assemble it a little, it's easy, a little easier to assemble it. So um, <clears throat> we'll pop out the uh, front lens carrier. And this front lens carrier, when we go to put this back together again, I'll show you this closer, but there's a little arrow here, and that arrow has to go right over this tab on our indexing sleeve, and it has to be in a, um, has to go back in in the right direction in order to reassemble this. Now the secondary extender ring is symmetrical every 120 degrees so it doesn't make it really a bit of di it doesn't make any difference how we put this back the front extender or front lens carrier um, into our secondary extender ring and yeah you can see there's quite a bit of dirt in here so maybe that's the only okay we're going to um, remove our indexing sleeve from our primary extender ring which like I said has a ring gear on it so we want to rotate this indexing sleeve in the counterclockwise direction as far as we can go here and then lift up a little bit on it and uh, and so till it comes out with the sleeve here and you can see this is extensively dirty and I figure that's the only problem that uh, we have so we're going to clean this and put it back together because I don't see any broken parts on the indexing sleeve so there we have our lens disassembly and we're going to check it all out and clean it and then put it back together again and I'll have another video on it for you